there's one aspect of the uncertainty about who is actually uh, on this list as a terrorist or others um, that is uh, that is very problematic, and that's the effect it's happening on that it's having on the U.S. tech sector because. Uh, American companies, when they do business overseas with foreign companies or foreign customers, um, they have to have agreements for how they're going to protect those customers' data. And the European courts um, have begun taking a very skeptical look at uh, the companies, pr the protection they can offer based on the fact that a lot of this data will become susceptible to uh, surveillance by the U.S. government. And so the, court, it, the courts in Europe invalidated one uh, data agreement between U.S. and foreign companies. There was another one that was put in place. That one is in jeopardy as well. And that's why uh, 30 U.S. companies, including Google and Microsoft and Facebook, um, signed a letter uh, to Congress urging Congress to do what, what we've been talking about here, which is to narrow the scope of surveillance. So it's not just any foreigner overseas. It's actual suspected terrorists. And to uh, beef up back-end protections for innocent people who do get innocently uh, surveilled.